Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at detaching the neck of the uh, guitar to the body of the guitar. And there's two different types of neck. There's the one we've looked at, which is the, like, this is the neck off a TL1, which we've already set up. And that's a bolt-on neck, or a screw-on neck. The other type you'll see on the LP1 and the SG1, and this is an EX1, this is a glue-in neck. So we're going to deal with that later. Today we're going to look at uh, the screw-in neck. For this uh, exercise what we'll need is we'll need our bag of tricks and in that bag you'll see there's four long screws. They're quite clearly the neck screws and you'll need your neck and the body of your guitar which we've already set up and you'll also need a backing plate which fits onto the back of the guitar body. You'll need a power drill preferably or a hand drill if you haven't got a power drill. And you'll need some uh, draw bits that match the screws that we're putting in. And that's probably about it. Oh, and you'll need a screwdriver when you are ready to screw the screws in. So let's uh, come in closer and we'll have a look. Okay, first things first, we need to grab one of the screws and we've grabbed a screw out of that um, bag of tricks and we just need to match it to our drill bit. And there we go, that's a 3.5 and to me that looks about right. Okay, if we slide the neck in to position here, we can see, if we turn that over for a second, we'll see that it's fit, fitting snugly against the uh, scratch plate there. Can't really move around, so we turn that upside down again. And that is really solid. Can't move around anywhere. Now, you'll see on the body of the guitar, there's actually four holes already drilled from the factory. So this is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is make sure our drill bit is the right length. So there's the screw. And there's the drill bit. So we need to bring that drill bit back in about five millimeters. We'll do that now. Nice and tough. Now all we have to do is, with the drill guided through each of those four holes, is drill into the neck till the drill bit gets to the wood. And we don't want to actually touch the wood. Okay, just make sure that yep that neck's in good position. We'll do the second one. The third. And the fourth. And there you go. So that's our neck drill. Now we'll get rid of that drill. This is where you grab your scratch plate, which is in a plastic bag. And you place that over there, over the hole. So the four holes correspond to the four holes in the scratch plate. Hopefully you can see that. And then just a simple matter of inserting the screws. screwing in. So there you go, that neck is in place, it fits nicely with the scratch plate there. The bridge is sitting there, we'll put that in a bit later. The control panel's in, the output jack is in. I think that's all we need to do. We'll come back and we'll have a look at this bridge plate in a minute and then we'll put the strap holders on here and at the back. Then we can string it up and hear what it sounds like. 